Okay, so we had some um, interesting times, don't we? Apparently, um, payment processors in Australia are no longer processing payments for a lot of people in the fitness industry, which is pretty scary. So uh, I wanted to show you how to use Stripe. Stripe is really super easy to set up. You can create an account very quickly. Um, it'll link to your bank account. Um, and then I'll show you just how simple it is to set up a um, to set up a payment. So if you're in, when you get into your Stripe, um, uh, we just go to billing and then we slide down to subscriptions uh, and then we create new. So I'm gonna add myself. I just added myself as a customer. I'll, I'll, you, you just press add customer so it'll be this screen that pops up. Um, but I was practicing this video. <laughs> Sorry, I've already added myself. So um, here we go. There I am. And um, to set up a subscription, I've created these, but to set them up, you just slide down there. If I want to, I can add a trial, which is really easy for as many days as I would like to, whatever the different, um, uh, whatever the different things that you've got, got, got going on. Add a payment method. So I'm about to do the crazy thing of billing myself. Um, I actually don't want to show everybody my credit card details. I want to put my credit card details in here um, and then we'll be back in one second. Added my credit card. Um, it will also, um, you can use this to send invoices if you want. Um, and you can add any fields that you'd like to the invoice. So for your, for your people. And then I can also either start the subscription now or I can schedule it so I can pick, um, you know, when I want it to go to go out. Um, I'm gonna make another video for you so you can see how easy it is to create a subscription as well. So that's regular payments that come out. But that's how easy to set up a customer. Like that's a, that's two minutes um, to put, put my details in. If I start the subscription, it will bill me instantly. Um, and then money's in your account in, in three days. So next I'll show you how to, to schedule a subscription, uh, to create a subscription that you'll charge people with. Okay, so how do we make a subscription really easy? Um, so we slide down the menu, we'd click on billing, and then the, the option that we want to want to have is um, for products. So I'm gonna create a new product, um, and let's just call it uh, demo. Demo subscription. I always find it funny when people talk to themselves on videos, and here I am. Um, so these next ones are optional. Um, this is like the stuff that go on, on invoices. So it'd be like a demo invoice. Why do I care if it's a capital? Funny how your mind works. Um, and this is what would be on, on, on the statement. So demo subscription. That's what would show up um, on the statement of your customer. And then we create the product. Cool. And now we just look at pricing. So if we wanted to do um, weekly uh, subscription, I'm just gonna go sub demo. Um, you can create an ID. This is just so that the, the computer has a name for it. Um, and here are some different options. So recurring quantity. If you're in fitness, you're probably gonna use a, a recurring quantity rather than um, metered usage, but you can play around with that. Price per unit. So let's make um, $1.99 a week. It's in Australian dollars. The billing interval is gonna be weekly. Um, and let's give it a trial period of seven days. Why not? Um, so we add the pricing plan there. So now it exists, that's how quick it was for me to set a demo up and um, oh, a, a, a subscription up. If we wanted to go to, to, to give this to me, so let's 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 charge me in that account I just created. So let's go to the new, um, there I am, product, um, demo subscription, $1.99 a week. So $1.99 a week, um, the trial ends on April 2nd. And here I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start the subscription. Bang, and, and now that exists. So 
um, it is relatively easy to set that up. That's like, what are we on? We've taken two minutes or something to do this. So Stripe, really good option. And I know it's scary, but it's something you can you can implement straight away and then you can start collecting your payments again. Um, and then it's a really great thing to use. It's got a nice app um, and it's really great on websites. So there's a lot of benefits to Stripe. Um, it's international and takes cards, all types of cards from everywhere too. So I've been using it for, for five years and, it, and it's, it's a really useful piece of technology. So uh, jump on that. I know it sucks that they've, they've held back your payments and it's probably scary, but there is an action you can take.